Gita. Sisters and brothers, this is Brother Harakup at Perinitar Kenet here in California, Los Angeles, South Central of all places. So, I'm back. And um, just right quick, I wanted to say that I called this, when I first started this whole uh, video series, Leaving New York, it was about me, um, you know, starting the temple, becoming a priest, so on and so forth. So I've been recording since, uh, since I left New York. And the whole time I've been recording what's going on in the temple. So now I've been accepting uh, students. And just recently I accepted a uh, new initiate to live in because we're starting a, a living program. Once we have the land, um, pe people like Shaolin Temple, they'll come learn our Kung Fu. They'll learn how to grow hemp and the, and the holy uh, marijuana and things like that and learn the business as well as our Kung Fu, like I said. So, um, this is not a joke. This is real Kung Fu. This is a temple. And we have a business. So there's a profit side and there's the spiritual side, the, the temple side, okay? So this is not a joke. So they're gonna be dropping like five. That's like three people I done, done already. They got done, you understand? So. Um, I just thought I would give a little information on the Holy Bibla. The Holy Bibla is basically a bong and, uh, that was created by my partner, Ross Levi. And basically, is, this one is basically a coconut. He drilled some holes in da da da, -da and made us a bong, which we put water in. Now, what I did when he introduced me to it, because I was smoking, um, uh, you know, paper, blunts and, and joints, you know, and you know, really know nothing about the bong in New York, where, in my, where I was from anyway. So this introduced a whole new world to me. It got the mucus out of my lungs, I'm, I'm feeling super, and it's no joke, this is not some old man we sitting around getting high all day. Because when I was telling people about this when I was living on the beach, they, oh, you're going to have a bunch of potheads in your church. Well, look at some of the pictures I got on. Look at some of the videos I got on and tell me these potheads. Look how powerful and beautiful my potheads are. That's with me in this, in our temple. But anyway, the Holy Bibla. I'll explain why we say Holy and uh, so forth. But first, Blessed bud, be blaze. Calling the ancestors, the blaze with you. Look at Light your sage to purify your area. And your, and your aura, your bioelectromagnetic field of energy that surrounds your body really should be about 25 feet away from the body, but most of y'all are probably about like that. Make your onk. Blessed bud, be blade. So we don't have to suck in the, the stuff that's in here.
going on. What we practice here is called the way of Ma O. In the Chinese uh, version, she's called Ma Gu. So if you look this up, that's the name you look for, M-A-G-U, Ma Gu. But we're in the hood, so our sister in that's uh, representing in the physical world is Ma O. And it fits her name because that's her real name. Anyway, the Oli Bibla. Let me explain what the Ken of Kung Fu is. First of all, we call the Ken, we call it killer Kenna Kana, like cannabis, spelled with a K, killer Kana Kung Fu. And this is like the university. So it's KKK dash FU. So anyway, um, the name of it, that's for short, the name of it is Blessed Buddha Blazing Boxing and Bibla Blasting. Okay? So, um, the most important part, besides the Kung Fu, because I've made up hand movements according to how we use the Bible and so on, and, and these hand movements we use in our Kung Fu. But I'm not going to get into that. You can see I don't. You can see some of it on on the other videos. The other side, the way of Ma O, is the way of immortality and youth, everlasting life, all that good stuff, right? So we call that alchemy, alchem, like with a K again, chem, like in Kemet, uh, so-called ancient Egypt. So do we, we, that's what we practice, not Chinese stuff. This is our stuff. Anyway, if, when you look at the early Bible, oh, what I was saying, our Kung Fu is based on the circles. We have three dimensions, oh, not five dimensions. We have three dimensions. We have circles this way. We have circles this way. And we have circles this way. Okay? So, when you watch the smoke, if you blow up, if you, like you have a blow up hole with the smoke, the hole will come out and then it would break up into all types of different shapes. And you know, you'd be high, so you'd be watching like, oh wow, look at this, oh, it's like, it, you know, it'd make an O oh, and then it just, you know, one part would just fall and the other part O, oh, or it might fall over something. Uh, it's a trip. But anyway, you know, that's the whole, that's the whole mystical side behind the holy smoke. You watch the smoke and then you try to um, copy it, basically. Just like you in Kung Fu, you copy water or air or whatever. Well, we copy the smoke. And we copy, and we reflect the circle, because everything is circles. If you look at the sun, the moon, the star, every energy comes into form first as a circle. So we say, Om, Om, you know, and, and other things. So you'll see this O all over the place. Anyway, now this represents the body. This represents the body in alchemy. The Oli. We say Oli because we take off the H in Holy. Just like Holy Bible, if you read it, it's Bibla. And my teacher say the Bible. So this is the Holy Bibla. And this part here represents the belly. You understand? And this is where we place the water. Guess what? This is where water is at in your body. Or this is where the water is, you know, processed and stored and so on and so forth. And, you know, eliminated in the body, right? Thus, and now you have uh, the bowl. The bowl represents the first eye, not third eye, didn't form last. These two form last. This one form first, the pineal gland or the penile gland, I like to say. So this represents the pineal gland and your thoughts, your concentrated thoughts represent the fire. The holy herb represents the carbon copper, the carbon copper mixture that is created at the pineal gland called by the Caucasians melanin, black chemical, right? This is the stuff that's uh, secreted by the first eye, which in Taoism is called the crystal palace. So once we ignite uh, the holy herb with, with the focused thought or the copper carbon combination 
that you call melanin, we take it, we breathe in, um, you know, the, the air. This represents this part of the body where you're breathing in. This is the lungs and the, you know, all up here in this part of the body. And it comes in and the smoke, the a chemical mixture ha starts to happen down in here with the water and, and the uh, opium and the sperm. And then that mixture rises up the spine together and again meets at the first eye which we call, the, which you want to call the Christ consciousness, we call Nagarjuna. We're going to get into all that. That's the old black Christ that, you know, was actually carved in the walls in Cambodia. We'll get into all that. So once you ignite it, it mixes with the water and the air, and it becomes what's called an act chemical mixture or a, a uh, elixir of life. And then we check into the actual science behind the holy herb and we find out, oh, it actually stops free radicals. Oh, it makes me like I'm feeling like, yo, all the time. You know, I don't have to eat so much. And, and then on top of that, doing the meditations and the breathing, ah, it's fantastic. So this is not a joke. Our Kung Fu is not a joke. We're teaching alchemy. Uh, sexual alchemy, sexual kung fu, um, beat your ass kung fu, and and all that. So we gonna have we having we're putting together our a temple on our own land. You will be able, initiates people who are already there. We are not um, training children from to to adults or men or boys to men. We're training men and women to be magi warriors. Get it? Magi warriors. People are just joining because they see some punching and kicking. No. Um, there is a lot to this. I just broke down a little bit of the alchemy. And you can look at me. And I mean, I'm, I'm, all this stuff is coming out my body. That's what these marks are. And I'm, I'm almost 60 years old and I'm jumping around with, with little children out there. So it's up to you to think this is just because they told you it was illegal. It's up to you to do your own research and find out that God said, I will raise up for them a plant of renown and there shall be no more hunger in the land. And they shall bear the shame of the heathen no more, because you're gonna be wearing good hemp clothes, and we're gonna be and we're gonna be smoking the holy herb, and we're gonna be making good medicines out of the holy herb and giving it to the people and healing their bodies and showing them how to breathe and meditate. But it's all coming together as it's supposed to. Hey Chuck, sisters and brothers. You better get it together, because this is no joke. The devil is out there kicking your ass every day, and y'all sitting around worried about what Jordan is doing. What's wrong with you stupid niggas? Straight up and down. If you don't get in something like this, you better get something together, because them niggas is on you, and they getting ready to wipe us out, those of you who want to stay in these cities. Come out of her, my people, that you, my, that you not partake of her sins or her diseases. It didn't say march and try to change the devil. Peace.